In Massachusetts, they are still bracing for a surge in cases, but today there's a new sense of readiness as a massive field hospital set to open up in Worcester. Eyewitness News reporter Kate Walsh joins us with a look at how quickly the DCU Center was converted into a hospital. Hey Patrick, it may seem like we were just reporting how Governor Charlie Baker was touring facilities looking for a place to make this type of hospital, and that's because we really were. In a matter of a week's time, they chose the DCU Center in Worcester and completely transformed it into a a makeshift hospital for people who may need it. Of course, the goal here is for it to stay open but empty. The $25 million transformation includes soldering copper pipes to all of the rooms to provide oxygen. There are 214 ICU beds, and the facility can treat up to 250 patients. Now, this will only be used when or if hospitals fill to capacity, and we're told right now there's still room in the hospitals. But in that scenario, the sickest patients would stay in the hospital and others with coronavirus will be treated here. As many as a thousand healthcare workers applied to work long days here, including one recent med school grad. None of us have been specifically trained in doing this, but the idea is to be adaptable. It's kind of one of those things where you have to assume any risks that are there and, you know, and do your job. We've definitely heard that mantra before. Rhode Island has also set up three field hospitals. Those are located at the Rhode Island Convention Center in Providence and also inside a former Lowe's in Quonset and the Old Citizens Bank in Cranston. They, the state of Massachusetts is expected to keep the DCU field hospital open for two months time, depending on when the surge in cases arrives in Massachusetts and how long it lasts. Live in the control room, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News.